We are almost done setting up our registration form. We've added all the content we want, but need to add some finishing touches and then open it up to start accepting registrants. To do this, I'll navigate to my registration dashboard, either by clicking the registration dashboard button if I have the form open for editing, or by clicking the form name when I first enter the registration tab. I'll click the options button at the top of the form, and here I can see that I can choose to manually open and close registration by choosing to ignore dates, set registration opening and closing dates, choose a registrant limit, set a registration fee cap, and the various sections where I can enter customized instructions. To open registration, I'm going to select the date and time at which I want the registration to open and close. If I do plan to limit the number of registrants, I'll check the registrant limit box and enter the number of participants who will be allowed to register. Once this limit is met, registration will automatically close. I can add a maximum registration fee to be charged, which I may do if I want to set a max amount to cap registration charges per family. There are several places throughout the registration process where I can add customized instructions. I can enter any text I want and it will be displayed at the point in the process indicated by that section. Text formatting and adding images are not supported here, but some HTML tags like bolding and adding URL links can be used. Once I am done adding some custom instructions, I'll click Save. I'll go ahead and run through preview mode one last time so I can see how my full form looks by clicking Preview Form. On this first screen, under Participant Info, we can see where I've added some customized instructions with the bold text and my added link text. I'll go ahead and import a participant so we can see what that looks like. Then I'll click Save and Continue so I can complete my Documents and Waivers section. I'll click Save and Continue again where I can select my registration fees. Save and Continue one more time, and I'll be taken to my checkout page. Here I can see my registration fees correctly applied, my payment method options, and my checkout total. Everything looks good, so I'll go ahead and close out this tab and return to my registration form. At any time, I can view my registration overviews and registrants list. If I want to adjust my registration dates, I can click the Edit button in the Status Overview and make my changes. You can see that I have the option to opt in or out of using registration dates at any time. Once I've made the form active, I can email the link out to potential registrants to let them know that it is available, and or if I have a public website, I can post it there to make it super easy for parents and players to register. When I do get registrations coming in, I can view the status for registrants under my registration dashboard by clicking the form name under the registration tab. Here I can view registrant details like checkout status, payment method, and remaining balance, as well as export a fee summary report or a full registration report file. I can click the edit button for a registrant row to view their fee summary and add notes or make adjustments to their balance. For registrants with online or installment payments, this is where I would manage those as well. When registrants have fully completed the process and are marked paid, a roster profile is automatically created that will need to be assigned to a team. And that's it. We've set up our registration form and we're ready to start accepting registrations. <laughs>